Hello there! And welcome to my channel. Today, I will be showing you how to install True S Scale on a HP Z800 workstation. Hello there! And welcome to Daniel Tech Tips channel. True NAS Scale is an open source storage system designed as a network attached storage or NAS. It have two community edition available, a True NAS Core and a True NAS Scale. Also available is True NAS Enterprise that are supported by iX system. True NAS Core is based on BSD or Berkeley software distribution, while True NAS Scale is based on Debian Linux. Before we start, we need to download the latest True NAS Scale. Open your favorite browser and go to truenas.com and download the latest truenas scale ISO file. After download complete, open your preferred ISO writer to flash it to a flash drive. You can use either Rufus Utility or Bellina Etcher Utility to do this. First, we need to ensure all the hard drives are not configured into any RAID level and must be removed. True NAS works best without any RAID configuration, so we must remove all RAID array before installation. Next is to plug in the flash drive with true NAS ISO file written and boot up the computer. You need to select the flash drive during boot up process. When booted up, you will need to select Start True NAS Scale Installation option. The boot up will continue, and it may take a while depending on your system. Please select option 1, install or upgrade and press OK button to continue. This may take a while, please wait. Next is to select the drive to which True NAS Scale will be installed into. In this case, I will be selecting my two SSD drives as the boot drive, and when prompted for data deletion, press Yes button to continue. 
On the next screen, you need to specify the administrator's password. Select option 1 and key in your preferred password, and please remember this password for later use. When prompted to create a swap partition, please proceed to create the swap drive as recommended. Depending on your system, you can either select EFI boot or legacy BIOS boot. As my system is EFI, I just select it. The installation will continue and will take some times to complete. Once the installation completed, you will return back to the main screen. Here select Reboot System option, and you can unplug the flash drive from here. After System Reboot, you see the console screen. Take note of the IP address shown on the console. On another computer, open your favorite browser and type in the IP address of the True NAS server. You should see the main True NAS login screen. Proceed to login, the username is admin, and the password was the password you have created during installation.
Congratulations! You have successfully installed TrueNAS Scale. Before we can use it, we need to configure some basic settings first. Go to Network, at the Interfaces section, select your system network card, untick the DHCP option, then click the Add button to manually assign a static IP address. After key in your preferred static IP address, click on the Save button. Next is to click on the Test Changes button and confirm to test the changes. Afterward you will need to use the new static IP address to refresh the browser. If successful, you will see the true NAS login screen, proceed to login back. Once back to the dashboard, click on the Save button, and this will permanently save the new static IP address. Next, we need to create our first storage pool for it. Go to Storage menu, click on Create Pool button. We need to give it a name for the pool, I will just name it as Pool1 for this demo. Next, is to select all the hard drives you want to add it into the pool, and click the right arrow button. Next is to select RAID level, in TrueNAS the RAID Z is almost similar to RAID 5 with one parity drive. More information about RAID Z is available at the link in the description below. But for now, I will need only RAID Z, then just click Create button. When prompted, click on Confirm and create the pool to continue. This may take a while to complete. Once the pool have successfully created, you will now be presented with storage dashboard. Thank you for watching. And if you like my video, please hit a like button and subscribe to my channel. It will be a great motivation for me.